Welcome citizens of heaven. I hope you're doing great. You are still strong, going strong by the grace of God. You are being backed by heaven. You know, when you are sent as an ambassador, the whole country, the government is backing you up. Anything you need is provided. You are not only here on earth, you are seated with Christ, which means you are in heaven as well, right? And this is powerful. It's a powerful revelation that you have to hold on to. We are still on this fast. If you are new to this channel, welcome. You are seeing me talking about fasting. We started our fast. We are continuing seeking the Lord to bless our finances, to protect jobs, to provide jobs, to keep those businesses flourishing, hallelujah, to flourish your life, blossom you, and let his glory shine. Because as an ambassador of Christ, you should lack no good thing. Hallelujah. I know the enemy is always fighting. The enemy is at war with us and we'll always win. No matter what, God will make a way where there's no way all the time. He's going to make a way for you to come out of that financial situation. Evil shall not prevail against your money. Evil shall not prevail against your job, your career, your business, your family, your health. Money without good health is nothing. Money without Jesus is nothing. So evil shall not prevail against your salvation against your ticket to heaven. Evil shall not prevail against your life. You are blessed. God calls you blessed. And let me read this scripture. Psalm 128 verse 2. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Hey, God has spoken. God has spoken. Who can stand against the word of God? The enemy tries so hard. He tries to bring your way a bad story but God is turning things around for your good he says you eat the fruit of your labor and some of you are saying right now Agnes I don't have a job which fruit of my labor will I eat God is going to provide a job for you this is the first thing because he who shall not work shall not eat and struggles come because of not working and God is here providing a job for you profitable employment is coming your way in Jesus name. When you be on that prayer altar, ask for something that is going to answer most of your problems. I've shared this many times. On that prayer list, don't be all over the place. Don't be praying for something else when your need is this. God is not a magician. He wants to hear you speak. He says you do not receive because you do not ask. And yet God knows everything. He desires that we ask him. Ask anything in his name, in the name of Jesus, and it will be given to you. No matter how bad that situation is right now, God is beautifying your life. Evil shall not prevail against it. Evil shall not prevail against your money. Evil shall not prevail against your business. Maybe this pandemic brought so many problems. Some of you we're laid off and right now finances are tight. You are an ambassador of Christ. You are an ambassador of heaven, representing heaven very well. Your success is God's success. So when you succeed, heaven rejoices. Don't think God doesn't want you to have money or be struggling with finances. God is going to make a way. Don't look at your academics I have a degree and yet I don't have a job. Even if it looks gloomy right now, God is able to make a way. The word of God creates. It doesn't just create one thing. It creates abundance. It creates ideas. It gives you the way to follow. In case in that business you have employed wrong people and they are busy bringing your business down, God will expose them. He will give you wisdom. You will understand the root cause of your problems. In this guide I've given you, you will see that I said we are praying between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. If you wake up around 2 a.m., for example, and pray, do you know that around that time is when those who write books write their books? And you who is backed by heaven, you have the anointing power of the Spirit of God 
following you. You can do so much more. Remove laziness. Remove sleeping too much. God wants to blossom your life. God wants to take you from one level of glory to another. You might say, my place of glory right now? What are you talking about? There's no glory here. You should look. Look around. There are many things God has done even in that situation. Even that situation itself, financial shame, is your glory because that's, that's where wisdom is going to come from. As you sit down and look for ways that you can come out of that situation, God will give you wisdom and that will be your promotion. Be honest with God. Do not waste this fast. You will not fast in vain in the name of Jesus. God says you will eat the fruit of your labor. And some of you are just working, working, no sign of fruit. Nothing is coming out of your labor. Nothing is coming out of your work. And in the natural, it may look like it's normal. Spiritually, the enemy knows he's attacking. But whatever God has not said in heaven shall not happen in your life. Whatever is not ordained in heaven, remember you're an ambassador. Remember you're a citizen of heaven. Whatever you have not seen written about your life shall not prevail against you. Let it be household wickedness, whatever it is, wherever they are enchanting from. Maybe it's your own doing, your laziness, your foolishness, lust, showing off, doing things just to please people so that they see that you are doing great and yet your time hasn't come. All that is foolishness. And you might be here asking for financial breakthrough and God already gave you a long time ago. In that opportunity, you didn't take care of it. You have to be a good steward of what God is putting in your hands. Evil shall not prevail against your life. Do you know that for the enemy to attack you, he'll find a way. He will look for a weakness in your life. He's not going to come like clear like this. Oh, now I am the enemy. I'm going to attack your finances. It doesn't come like that. It will come in the form of laziness, wastage, pride, greed. Greed takes you down because you become toxic. Money is given to you and it's only for you, for my family, for my children. Nobody else should eat my money because I work so hard for it. Or what you do is just take care of your family, your immediate family. And even if God says, what I've put in your hands is to help that widow or that orphan. Or God is just pushing you to give something to someone who is in need. Here you are keeping it for yourself keeping it. Oh, there's recession. People are talking about recession. There's no recession in heaven. When there's recession here on earth, the bank of heaven, what you're doing now, banking, good things you're doing, banking, your heavenly account is getting fat and fat. When there's recession here on earth, there's no recession there for you. You can ask for anything. You can withdraw and heaven will give it to you. Principles in the Bible. And many times we get distracted by what we see in churches, by what we see uh, pastors preaching and the focus being on money, manipulating scriptures to get money. That shouldn't be a distraction for you. Your job is to obey. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 to 2. You are obeying God. If God has spoken, do it. Not because everyone else is saying this and obedience is your ticket to that financial breakthrough this is your declaration when you see financial lack when you see financial disaster financial collapse things are collapsing in your life financially go to this scripture and say it is written that's the reason why you are reading the bible when the enemy comes to attack attacking your mind and telling you, ah, do you think you can come out of this situation? You will say, it is written. I will eat the fruit of my labor. Go in that business and say, I will eat the fruit of my labor. This business is increasing, it's expanding. And God has spoken. My job is where I'll eat the fruit of my labor. This is the job God has given me. And the Bible says, I will eat the fruit of my labor. Blessings and prosperity will be mine. What are you doing? You are taking captive of every negative thought, of every opposition to what God has spoken. This is what you'll be doing in this fast. Continually being in the presence of God and saying it is written. I've given you scriptures. 
don't be limited by the guide. When you'll be praying, the Holy Spirit will lead you into how you have to pray. Don't be stuck by the guide. It's called a guide, guiding you. Prayer points might not be enough. You might pray in your own language. Tell God in your own language. Be honest, be free. He's your father and he wants to hear you say. He says, I'll do exactly what I hear you say. So don't be limited to what I've provided, to the scriptures I've written there. When you'll be praying, scriptures will be coming upon your spirit. Have a pen and a notepad every time you're praying because the Holy Spirit is going to give you a way out, maybe through a scripture or a thought. When a thought is impressed upon your spirit, what will follow after that is a scripture. God confirms all the time through his word. What and who is scattering your money? Which power is swallowing your finances? Is it your own doing? God is able to correct that issue. Whichever habit, wherever you've gone wrong, maybe it's disobedience, God is going to help you. Any power anywhere, any altar, any evil altar erected against your money, success, prosperity, set it on fire right now in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to release his fire. Let those altars be consumed by the fire of God. You know when we say catch fire and burn to ashes, the fire of God is able to consume any altar anywhere. Your downfall many times seems like it's normal, but... There might be an order erected against your finances, against your progress. Things are just toughening up. Someone somewhere is enchanting against your finances. I'm not saying you should give an excuse being lazy and not doing your part just because it's everything spiritual. Life is spiritual. When there's a situation that is not going well, when things are not going well, first look at it spiritually first. Pray. Go against any evil that might be attacking your finances. You have to do it. Anything that is hiding, anything that is wrong, God will expose it. Prayer is a spiritual weapon. You cannot see words. You send them. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Any altar erected against my finances, catch fire and burn to ashes right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you do not stop. Stay there, maybe two or three minutes. You are just praying, burning it, burning any altar that has been erected against your finances, against your job. Why are you not getting employed? You have everything that qualifies you to get that job, but you are rejected all the time. Any mark of rejection that has been placed upon your life, that is not God's will. You are blessed. You are not cursed. You are a blessed child of God. The blessing of Abraham is flowing over your life. And from today, you have to believe that you are not a cursed person. You have to take a hold of the promises of God that I am blessed. Who God has blessed cannot be cursed in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you have the authority to send fire to any altar in any area of your life. Some of you, your health is being attacked. Through laziness, your children cannot study because of laziness because of distractions. All that cannot be blamed on God. You have to sit and say, Lord, touch my life with fire. The same fire that you can send to burn any evil order anywhere. You can ask for the same fire to give you strength, to energize your body, to lead you in the right path. Fire of God, move me forward. Let promotion come. Release that breakthrough over my life. All these are spiritual weapons. Prayer, staying on that altar, is a spiritual weapon in your hands. And in this guide, I've shared more things because it's not just prayer. It's not just fasting. You cannot just give and expect, oh, as I give, I am good. Blessing will just flow over my life. There are so many people who have given, have been giving years and years, but nothing is happening in their life. They are still struggling. Why? Why are they struggling if they are faithful? If they are giving all their money to the needy, to the poor, to church, they are giving tithe. Why are they struggling? Because it's not the only thing you do. You cannot just say, I'll give, I'll give, and then I'll sit, I'll just be sleeping. No, it's not going to work for you. Money is not going to increase like that because God is not a magician. 
He wants you to learn through the process. He wants you to be a good steward. He wants you to represent heaven very well. He wants you to have integrity. How can you have integrity if you have not worked? How can you have integrity if you cannot deal with people in business, in your job? Who will know you are a thief or you are a crook? You're scheming people. You are not in business. You don't have a job. God is looking at the bigger picture here, developing you. Your success is God's success and is moving you forward. Hallelujah. Evil shall not prevail against your life. Evil shall not prevail against your finances. Do not look at yourself like, now I'm down and out. You are not. You are a blessed child of God. The blessing of Abraham is flowing in your bloodline. The blood of Jesus has erased any trace of poverty from your life. You have to confess these things that I'm a blessed child of God. I'm co here with Christ. What Jesus went to pay for on the cross is mine. He paid everything in full. I, I shared this in the previous video that your job is to obey. God is your defender. The Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 10, those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Your trust should be in the Lord. Your trust should not be in your plan B. When we are faced with a situation, we first run to, what can I do? Who can help me? Have you gone to God first? Have you sought the face of God first? And God says, your plan B is there. He's the one who is going to show you the right path. Those who trust in the Lord. Trusting is knowing that no matter how tough it is, he who has said it is faithful. Trusting is not seeing first. You trust. Children trust their parents. It can be at night, you're holding the hand of this child. This child trusts you so much for provision, for safety, for everything. This is our God. That's what he does. He protects us. He will protect your finances. He will protect everything about you. Where there's lack, he is providing. He is the provider. He is Jehovah Jireh. Call on his name. As you'll be fasting, call on his name. Jehovah Jireh, come and provide. Financial glory is your portion. And as you will be praying and fasting, do not forget, as I have indicated, highlighted in the guide, that you will be raising your documents, anything representing the work of your hands, your bank card, whether there's negative balance in your card, in your bank account. Raise that card to the Lord. Raise your purse. Raise your handbag. Raise anything. It can be your laptop, your application, your CV. You are looking for a job. Take that CV. Every single day, day one to seven, you are lifting your particulars, your credentials to the Lord. Let those documents catch the anointing power of the Spirit of God. Let's see if failure is going to stay. Let's see if lack and want is going to stay. Shame cannot stay where the blood of Jesus is. Cover your credentials with the blood of Jesus. It's not by strength, eh? it's not by might, oh. it's by the finished work that Jesus has already done on the cross, the finished work of Jesus Christ. This is why you see people with PhDs, they are still looking for a job and someone who has a certificate is climbing higher. Hmm? Anointing power of the Spirit of God, staying in the presence of God, fasting, and seeking the Lord when there's an issue. You are not twisting the hand of God. You are saying, Lord, I humble myself. You are humbling yourself before the Lord. That is pure humbleness. And God lifts you up. Because you didn't think that you can do it on your own. You didn't trust in chariots. David said, some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. I will trust in the name of the Lord. That's what we are doing. You could have gone to a spiritualist right now. You could have gone to your uncle, that rich uncle. You could have gone to your aunt. You said, mm -mm, let me first seek the Lord. If my aunt is the one to help me, let it be. And God begins to send destiny helpers. By divine appointment, people begin to flock your way. They are willing to help you. Even that aunt now is willing to help you. Even before you ask, you'll be like, what are you doing? 
What is happening in your life? I called to find out. And you offload your issues and there you go. Okay, I can come in halfway. Half of that problem is sorted. Someone else will be sent. There are angels all over you, hey? There are angels all around you, ministering spirits, locating where your blessing is and bringing it your way. Do not trust in chariots. Do not trust in your strength. Trust in the name of the Lord. And financial glory is your portion in Jesus' mighty name. You will not fast in vain. This is for sure. You are not going to fast in vain. I want you to obey. I want you to trust him. I want you to not get discouraged. Even if rent is due, he has already promised that you will not labor in vain. You will eat the fruit of your labor. And I want you to pray. Lord, give me speed. I refuse to labor in vain. On this position, in my business, in my career, I shall not labor in vain. This is your confession, a declaration every single day, even several times during the day. God is not going to allow you to be ashamed. You will reject anything that God has not ordained in your life. Father, whatever you have not ordained for my life, whatever is not written about my life in heaven, let it not prevail. I reject it. I reject any spirit of failure, non-achievement, any anti-promotion spirit, anything that is opposing your blessing in my life, I reject it. You cannot pray like this and never see results. The enemy will let go. Release me now in the name of Jesus. Release my finances. Wherever my finances have been taken captive, I pray that, Father, you release your fire and let the enemy let me go in Jesus' name. Use your own words. Expand your prayer. Increase. Let the Holy Spirit pray through you. He knows your situation and he'll help you pray the right way. As my spirit and my soul prosper, so is my business, my job, my family, my health, my career. In the name of Jesus, he desires that you prosper and are in good health, even as your soul prospers. So your soul is prosperous. You are the lover of Jesus Christ. Your spirit is prospered. Your mind is renewed. Hallelujah. And you take a hold of the promises of God. And you say, as my spirit and my soul is prospered, so is everything around my life. If there are any spiritual thieves, spiritual robbers, swallowing your money, sending issues around, sometimes is spiritual, and you don't even know, you cannot detect these things. Just issues are coming your way. Command them to let you go by the fire of God. Command them to let you go. Let me go. I have a purpose. I have an assignment. My life is blessed. And as you do that, the enemy flees. That's how you resist the enemy on the altar of prayer. Receive your financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace to move forward. The grace of God is upon your life and you eat and enjoy the fruit of your labor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been blessed and may the Lord continue to strengthen you to the end in the name of Jesus. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Continue commenting, continue spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ through your testimonies, your stories. God is pleased and lives are impacted. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.